Hi everyone, and welcome to the Father Michael Gates Business Department. My name is Maya Grambovich, and I will be giving you a quick virtual tour of the business department. Our business teachers have a wealth of expertise in and out of the classroom. Their degrees include accounting, business management, marketing, and commerce. They have experience in the corporate business sector and experience in leading and owning their own business. Here is a list of the business courses offered. We have one business course in grade nine, one in grade 10. In grade 11, we have three, entrepreneurship, accounting fundamentals, and marketing. In grade 12, we have another three, international business, business leadership, and accounting principles. I highly recommend taking one or a few business courses. Practical business skills are required in all careers. Our teachers lead students through real-life practical discussions, projects, and assignments. The field trips are inspiring, and students can work towards a business certificate. And there are, of course, a great many careers in business, such as corporate travel manager, marketing manager, accountant, social media manager, healthcare administrator, and the list goes on and on. Speaking of inspiring field trips, one of our most recent trips included a day at Choice Properties, where students had the opportunity to meet Galen G. Weston, Executive Chairman of Loblaw and Chief Executive Officer of Weston. Another field trip organized by Gates teachers included a day at the Facebook headquarters in Toronto. I hope you have enjoyed this quick virtual tour of the business department and we look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you. and welcome to the Father Michael Gates Math Department. My name is Maya Grambovich and I will be giving you a brief virtual tour of our math department and what sets us apart. Our teachers have a wealth of experience in education. We have teachers who have international teaching experience. We also have teachers who have worked in large international corporations. Some of our teachers have degrees in pure mathematics, while others have degrees in applied mathematics, such as engineering, chemistry, computer science, and economics. In this picture, you can see us working alongside our Dufferin Peel math consultants, developing hands-on activities using motion sensors. We also have a few teachers that are very passionate about outdoor education and have developed math programs in cooperation with the Riverwood Conservancy. In these pictures, you can see our students working with an outdoor grid, graphing linear relations, and you can also see them using their knowledge of trigonometry to determine the heights of trees. We have even been featured on breakfast television. I will play a short clip for you so that you can hear from our students. And I'm very excited because the pictures that you'll see, along with the video, of course, are our Father Michael Gates students. Yeah, we would uh, bring uh, students of a variety of ages from high school to, to middle school, and we would come down to the water and take samples, uh, discover the, 
the pollution, like if the water is polluted and, and different macroinvertebrates that we could find uh, in the water to help us determine just what is around here in the, in the environments and help the students to learn something about uh, their local area. And speaking of learning, we have some high school students here. Come on over, Joseph. So give a shout out to your school first off. I'm from Father Michael Gates. Yes, Father Michael Gates, and, and we're happy that you're here this morning. And you guys have been here kind of learning all these things. So what's that experience been like for you? Well, it's always fun to come to Riverwood and um, apply the concepts that we learn in the classroom into real life situations. It definitely helps us understand them more thoroughly. And it's always fun to connect with nature and enjoy the beautiful scenery. You have like a new appreciation for it. And, and Mark, I'm going to bring you on over now. Um, but you also learn other skills like, like math and science. And we were speaking about math earlier because that's yeah. one of you. The, one of so, your favorite subjects, right? Yeah, so when we look at things like trigonometry, we're able to measure like the distance of a valley or like the height of a tree. And those things are really cool to see how they work in real life instead of just on a textbook, right? So Absolutely. Uh, Lucas, come on in so you can give a shout out as well just before we go away. Tell everybody why you should come to Riverwood because it's, it's fun. It's just fun. It's fun to explore everywhere and even just come for a little daily trip. Yeah, or there's a walk, a, There's right? lots to do. Beautiful. Thank you guys so much for being here with us this morning. Come and check it out in Mississauga. It's absolutely beautiful. More about this television. So I hope you enjoyed that clip and I hope you got to see how math can come alive in the outdoors. We are always in the process of adding new tasks that connect math to real world applications such as this crime scene investigation that you see at the top right hand corner or tasks that connect the math to something meaningful to the world of teenagers such as creating superheroes by graphing functions on an online graphing calculator called Desmos. But my personal favorite are the whiteboards that are installed all around our math classrooms. We call this the 360 degree classroom. My students will spend most of their time in class on the whiteboard solving questions and teaching each other. We want our students to develop a deep understanding of the math. The 360 classroom allows students to take ownership of their learning, explore the math firsthand, work collaboratively, teach their peers and stay engaged. You'll notice my students are standing at the front of the class and I am nowhere in sight. They are doing all the learning and all the teaching. The rich tasks in the 360 degree classroom are based on Peter Liliadal's 15 years of research. He is a former high school math teacher and has worked with over 400 teachers to develop the thinking classroom structure. I hope you've enjoyed this virtual tour of our math department, and we look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you. Hey there, future Gators. We're so excited to have you. My name is Ms. Minister, and I'm one of the religion teachers here at Father Michael Gates. We're going to show you one of the fun activities we do in our grade 9 religion class. So, let's get started. Ladies, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> All right. Bible's ready. Bible's close. Hand behind your back. Don't oh, no. Oh, yes. I can't oh, see. Oh, 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 what is, the, what is the name of the play? What number? Uh, the third flag is Nat. Woo! Well done. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Hi everybody, my name is Miss Chitalinski and I am excited to talk to you about science at Father Michael Gates. We have a lot to offer you here. It's very exciting. So come on with me. We're going to check out some of the departments here. Our first stop is physics. Come on this way. An electrifying experience. Okay, now we're in the chemistry department. And you're going to find that in chemistry, it can be a really hot experience. All right, so now we're in the biology department, which is the heart of science. 
delicious. At Gates, we have many more avenues for you to explore science outside of the classroom. For example, we have the Science Club, where you're going to get a chance to do some great experiments to explore different fields of science and really get your feet wet. We also have the Robotics Club, where you can be as inventive as you'd like. The Social Science Department welcomes you to Father Michael Gates. Social Science is... Civics. Learning how to be a responsible citizen. Social science is... History, where we learn about the past, present, and the future. History is our story. Social science is... Law, where we learn about justice. Social science is... Reconciliation. We are all treaty people. Social science is... Geography, where we learn about our world and our environment.